The World Economic Forum recently released a report ranking Rwanda number seven among 142 other countries concerning the narrowing gender gap. Whereas the reception of this news has been mostly positive, some say that this isn't the accomplishment that it seems to be. And while the gender gap is slowly closing, there are still many gender-related challenges faced by women. I went around Kigali to talk to some women from all walks of life to learn their take. I'd say advantages, you know. I mean, I'm sure this is a typical example in the parliament, for example, the number of seating, there are more women than men. That's very encouraging for the youth as well, for me personally, because I feel like, you know, we have role models we can look up to and aspire to do bigger and greater things. Yes, I have advantages in this country because our president gives us uh, uh, opportunity in everything. So as a woman, I think I really have advantage in this country. We're all equal, yeah. They only like they try their best to empower women. We we live in a world of men, so I'd say yes, but I think the way Rwanda is progressing, I don't I think we'll be the same. Man or woman, you'll be able to do what you want to do and live your dreams. I really don't know. I think it's, uh, yeah, it's 50-50. <laughs> it depends. It's a 50-50. Most, most of them, they have advantage also. But I think it's a 50-50. Not really. I think there's equality. I'm not so sure. But at least it looks like there's something of a good gender balance. Yep. Makeda Mahario, Rise and Shine Rwanda.